Street Fighter Alpha 3 discards the manual and auto modes from the previous Alpha games and instead offers three different playing styles known as isms for the player to choose from. The standard playing style, a ism, is based on the previous Alpha games in which the player has a three-level super combo gauge with access to several super combo moves. Xism is a simple style based on Super Street Fighter Con 2 Turbo, in which the player has a single level super combo gauge and access to a single but powerful super combo move. The third style, Vism, is a unique style that allows the player to perform custom combos similar to the ones in Street Fighter Alpha 2, but cannot use super combos. In Xism, the player cannot air block nor perform alpha counters and can only use one super combo move in its powerful level 3 version. To activate V-ism's super combo, the player has to press both kick and punch of the same strength. X-ism has the highest attack power but least defense, A-ism has more attack power than V-ism and a similar level of defense. All three modes have variations of movesets for each character, adding considerable depth to the gameplay. In addition, there are hidden modes that add handicaps to the player as well as benefits. Alpha 3 also introduces a guard power gauge, which depletes each time the player blocks. If the gauge is completely depleted, then the player will remain vulnerable to an attack. When broken, the bar shrinks and is refilled to its new maximum. It can be shrunk a number of times. Worth noting, while in Xism the character has the least defense of all modes, it also has the largest guard bar, vice versa for Vism, with Azism being in the middle. Also, the guard bar varies between characters. Zangief has a very large guard bar. The guard bar does not exist in dramatic battle matches, so no guard crushing is possible there. Iism is a customizable style exclusive to the Dreamcast version's World Tour and Sekio Dojo modes and the PSP version's World Tour mode. The controls for several actions have been modified from the previous Alpha games. For example, the level of a super combo move in Aism is now determined by the strength of the attack button pressed, rather than the number of buttons pushed, and throwing is now done by pressing two punch or kick buttons simultaneously. In Japan, Game Machine listed Street Fighter Alpha 3 on their September 1, 1998 issue as being the second most successful arcade game of the month. On release, Famitsu Magazine scored the Sega Saturn version of the game a 32 out of 40. They later scored it 30 out of 40. The PlayStation version also scored 32 out of 40 on release. The Dreamcast version scored slightly better, receiving a 33 out of 40. The official UK PlayStation magazine said that the game would outlast Tekken 3 and stated the only thing to tarnish this is the graphics. So, if you think gameplay is more important than texture mapped polygons, consider the score to be a 10. Next Generation reviewed the PlayStation version of the game, rating it 4 stars out of 5, and stated that Capcom may have outdone itself with the most playable and innovative fighting game since the original Street Fighter II. Game Informer gave the PlayStation portable version of the game an overall score of 7.75 out of 10 praising how the game being a great port of the classic fighting game and the gameplay and loading times as being seamless and stating a perfect arcade port that will please Street Fighter fans. By 2003, the Game Boy Advance version had sold over 30,000 copies. Meanwhile, the original PlayStation version sold a million units as of June 2016. In 2019, Game Informer ranked it as the 18th best fighting game of all time. 